Mark chapter 3 And he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there who had his hand withered. And they watched him, whether he would heal him on the Shabbat day, that they might accuse him. And he saith to the man that had his hand withered, Stand forth! And he saith to them, Is it lawful on the Shabbat day to do good or to do harm, to save a soul or to kill? But they held their peace. And when he had looked round about on them with anger, being grieved at the hardening of their heart, he saith to the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he stretched it forth, and his hand was restored. And the Parishim went out, and immediately with the Herodians took counsel against him, how they might destroy him. And Yeshua with his disciples withdrew to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed and from Yudaya, and from Yerushalem, and from Idumaya, and beyond the Jordan, and about Thor and Thidon, a great multitude, hearing what great things he did, came to him. And he spoke to his disciples, that a little boat should wait on him, because of the crowd, lest they should throng him. For he had healed many, insomuch that as many as had plagues pressed upon him, that they might touch him. And the unclean spirits, whensoever they beheld him, fell down before him and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of the God! And he charged them much, that they should not make him known. And he goeth up into the mountain, and calleth to him whom he himself would. And they went to him, and he appointed twelve, that they might be with him, and that he might send them forth to preach, and to have authority to cast out demons. And Shimon, he surnamed Petro, and Yaqob, the son of Zabdi, and Yohanan, the brother of Yaqob, and them he surnamed Boanergas, which is sons of thunder, and Andre, and Philip, and Bartholomaios, and Matai, and Toma, and Yaqob, the son of Alapaios, and Taddaios, and Shimon the Kananayan, and Yehuda Ishkariot, who also betrayed him. And he cometh into a house, and the multitude cometh together again, so that they could not so much as eat bread. And when his friends heard it, they went out to lay hold on him, for they said, He is beside himself. And the scribes that came down from Yerushalem said, He hath Baal Zabub, and by the prince of the demons casteth he out the demons. And he called them to him, and said to them in parables, How can Shatana cast out Shatana? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if the Shatana hath risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. But no one can enter into the house of the strong one and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong one, and then he will spoil his house. 
Amen, I say to you, all the sins shall be forgiven to the sons of men, and their blasphemies, wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. But whosoever shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit hath never forgiveness, but is culpable of an ionic sin. Because they said, He hath an unclean spirit. And there come his mother and his brothers, and standing without, they sent to him, calling him. And the multitude was sitting about him, and they say to him, Behold thy mother and thy brothers without, seek for thee. And he answereth them, and saith, Who is my mother and my brothers? And looking round on them that sat round about him, he saith, Behold my mother and my brothers, for whosoever shall do the will of the God, the same is my brother and sister and mother. <laughs> 